Lesson 2.4, Task 1. Investigate properties of inequality. An inequality is a mathematical statement comparing two expressions using one of the following inequality symbols. All right, so the first one here is less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, and this one means not equal. All right, so these are important to know and make sure that you know what these symbols are. So here's a little table that goes through these, and you can add the not equal to um, your table as well as if you need that. So that'd be good information to have in your notes. All right, so it says when solving inequalities, you will use the following properties of inequalities. These properties are similar to the properties of equality with one important difference. When you multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, you must reverse the inequality symbol. In the symbols column in the table below, A, B, and C are real numbers. Similar properties exist for each of the other inequality symbols. All right, so again, um, so talking about equality, so that means if we're solving an equation, um, the properties for solving an inequality are going to be similar. So you will solve an inequality the same way. The only difference is you must remember if you multiply or divide, you have to reverse the inequality symbol. All right, so properties of inequalities. So we've got addition property of inequality. If A is less than B, then A plus C is less than B plus C. So if you add C to both sides, um, it doesn't change the inequality symbol. Subtraction property, all right? Again, if you subtract C from both sides, it does not change the inequality symbol. Multiplication property, if A is less than B and C is greater than zero, so this means if C is positive, then the inequality does not change. If A is less than B and C is less than zero, so if C is negative, then it switches. So that's what it said above. If you have, if you multiply or divide by a negative number, then you have to switch the inequality sign. So you can see it goes from less than to greater than. Division property will work the same way. If C is greater than zero, nothing changes. If C is less than zero or if C is negative, when you divide by C, you have to flip the inequality. So that's the only difference in inequalities from equations. All right, using a spreadsheet, create a table like the one shown for the inequality X less than one. The formula in cell B2 is an if-then else statement that checks the value in A2. All right, so this is saying it's checking to see if this works for A2. All right, so it says if the number in cell A2 is less than one, then the word is yes. So is this less than one? Yes. Less than one, yes. Less than one, yes. Less than one, yes. This is equal to one, so it would be no, no, and no. All right, so copy the formula from cell B2 to cell B3 through B8. Which statement best describes the results that you observe? All right, so they have yes, 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 yes. This one is no, this one is no, and this one is no. All right, so it says copy the formula. Which statement best describes the results that you observe? The values of X are not solutions until row six. That's not true. These are all solutions until row five. The value of X is only a solution in row six. That's not true. The value of X are all solutions until row six when X equals one. So that is true. These are all solutions up until row six. Suppose you use the multiplication property of inequality to restate the inequality X less than one as two X less than two. Use the new inequality in the if then else statement you've entered in cells C2 through C8. Complete the sentence to describe what you observe. All right, so X is less than one. 
as 2x is less than 2. So if you wanted to solve this, you would divide both sides by 2, and x would be less than 1. So these are two equivalent statements, okay, just using the multiplication property. So it says the solutions of 2x less than 2 are blank, the solutions of that. So they are the same as the solutions. And if you look here, do you see there's yeses all the way down through here, and then no's and no's. So these are two equivalent statements. So they will be, or two equivalent inequalities, so they will have the same solution. Suppose you restate x less than 1 as negative x less than negative 1. Okay, now you're going to have to divide by a negative number. Use the new inequality in the if-then-else statements in cells D2 through D8. Complete the sentence to describe what you observe. All right, so now if I divide this by negative 1, um, I'm going to get x greater than 1. So this will not be the same. This is x less than 1. And if I divide by a negative, I have to switch the inequality. So these are no longer, these are not equivalent statements. So you can see here, this is no down through 6, and then it turns into yes, yes. So the solutions of x less than 1 in column B and the solutions of negative x less than negative 1 in column D are opposites except when the value of x is 1. So when the value of x is 1, they have the same answer. All right, it says, how are the spreadsheets of the results here different from the spreadsheet of the results in task 1 and lesson 2.2? All right, in 2.2, we were solving equations. And remember, um, addition, subtraction, um, multiplication, and division, you have equal signs, so you do the same operation on both sides. The only difference here is that when you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to switch the inequality. All right, that's all for task one. If you have any questions, let me know. Lesson 2.4, task two. Previously, you solved multi-step equations, including equations that contain grouping symbols. Now you will solve multi-step inequalities using the properties of inequality. Any number that produces a true statement when substituted for the variable in the inequality is a solution of the inequality. All right, so here's an example that they give, and it says here are the steps for solving an inequality. So we have 3x plus 2 greater than or equal to 1 half times x plus 5 are shown, but the justification for step 2 is missing. All right, to go from the given inequality to this step here, you can see that the grouping symbols, the parentheses, are missing. So they use distributive property to do 1 half times x and 1 half times 5, which is 5 halves. So that is considered distributive property. After that, they said, oh, let's see, they subtracted 1 half from both sides. So they had to make this a fraction in order to be able to subtract one half from that. So three minus a half is two and a half. So five halves x is just two and a half. Um, but if you need to rewrite that as a fraction, you can do so. And then after they do that, they're going to subtract two from both sides. And again, that's the same as two over one or four over two. So if you subtract four over two, five minus four is one half. Okay, so again, you also have to be able to work with fractions for this problem as well. Okay, once you get to this step here, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. The reciprocal of 5 halves is 2 fifths. Multiply both sides by 2 fifths, and you get 2 over 10. 2 over 10 reduces to 1 fifth. Okay, 2 fifths times 5 halves cancel. 10 over 10 cancels and gives you 1. So on this side, multiplying by the reciprocal gets rid of everything but the variable, which is what you want. You want to solve for x. All right, so it says which property justifies writing 3x plus 2 greater than or equal to 1 half times x plus 5 as this? All right, so we said that is the distributive property. So multiplying the 1 half by each thing inside the parentheses gets rid of the parentheses. 
what is true about the solution of x greater than or equal to one-fifth and the given inequality. All right, so the solutions of x greater than or equal to one-fifth and the given inequality are the same. Any value of x greater than or equal to one-fifth will satisfy each inequality or make it true. So it means it will be a solution. All right, that's all for task two. If you have any questions, let me know.